Wall Street has been left stunned after Elon Musk announced on Twitter he's thinking of taking the company Tesla private. The tweet sent shares in the electric car maker soaring by more than 7%. Well, joining us now is Pear Wimmer, an astronaut, adventurer, explorer and friend of Elon Musk. Good to see you, Pear. Um, what's he up to? Well, Elon Musk is a true uh, visionary of the 21st century. So Elon, uh, whilst he's creating an enormous amount of wealth for himself and for his shareholders, he's all about the big vision. He dreams big, he thinks big, and his true vision is, uh, you know, to Earth and beyond. That is to revolutionize the electric car market on Earth, is to take SpaceX uh, further and, and, and beyond and do things at a much lower price than ever seen before. He comes from a background of technology, from paper, PayPal, which has very successfully developed this, dis disrupted that area. He then it reinvested all that money into his various companies uh, and almost went flat again. And here we are looking at, at the next big vision. The problem he has now is running a public company is not just about the big vision and about the long term. It's about quarterly earnings and something as boring as uh, cents per share or, or cost and cost burn and cash flow and that sort of thing. It's all boring stuff, but, but reality for analysts on Wall Street. And those two things don't really go so well together. And that's why I think deep in his heart, he would love to be private. He runs SpaceX as a private company. And uh, I'm, uh, no doubt that he enjoys that part uh, much more being private. Do you think he can really pull it off because there are suggestions suggestions today that he will struggle to get together that $70 billion of capital. Uh, he tweeted, uh, the funding is secured, but uh, let's see. We, we're waiting for the details. Nobody knows at this stage outside the company. It is a massive feat to, to secure that kind of funding. Uh, the biggest deal so far was in 2007 on TXU, uh, and that was a $44 billion deal with two of the largest private equity firms in the, in the world teaming up together. So to go for north of $70 billion of, of, of capital to be raised is an enormous package, enormous feat. And you can only use debt to a degree because of the level of current cash flow in, in, in Tesla, which is nowhere near the other uh, normal or historic automakers. So uh, financing is going to be a huge challenge. And uh, But in true Elon style, he is unique. He's uniquely talented. Um, never bet against Elon. It's, it's, it's not a wise thing. Uh, but let's see. This is, I guess, for Elon, even a, a, a massive thing if he can pull that off uh, to take it private at those at those levels. It's an enormous amount of capital that's needed here. Uh, it will be the biggest uh, leverage buyout ever if he succeeds. So give us a sense of how dangerous a game he's playing here. Well, if you look at the tweet, he says he's considering it. Uh, you can consider all day long, and that's, that's, there's nothing wrong in that. Obviously, he walks a careful line from a regulatory point of view because you've got to be careful putting out state, statements like that because he is the CEO of a publicly listed company, and there are regula regulations that dictate what you can say and what you can't say. But uh, knowing Elon's motivation, knowing his, he dreams big and he has the big vision, and he cares more about the long term than quarterly earnings, uh, I'm sure he's genuine about it. I'm sure he wants to, wants to do it. Can he do it? Time will tell. But it, it surely is, is, is a big task and big challenge he has ahead of him. If he succeeds, uh, I, I have no doubt he would feel more comfortable. He'll be less distracted by uh, quarterly earnings updates and analyst calls and that sort of thing. So in the long term, it, it would probably be a better thing for him and for Tesla. Although on the negative side, access to capital will arguably be a little bit less easy from an equity point of view. Um, so uh, it also depends on what are his uh, cash, cash flow needs uh, or, or cash needs in, in the future and, and, and access to capital markets. And for somebody that knows him, is the maverick in him, is that central, is that core to his personality? Elon is a true visionary and he's very disruptive. So yes, there is that maverick. He, don't forget, he comes from a technology background. He wants to disrupt things. He wants to change things. He wants to make a real true difference in this world. And he is made of a very unique material that uh, I can't think of, of, of anybody else who, who, who's got that kind of fabric in him. Um, there are very few business people in the world that are so, so unique. Richard Branson maybe being one of them who has that entrepreneurial drive and that desire to do good and change things and change things on a big scale. Elon running both Tesla and SpaceX, uh, doing great things on Earth and great things in space. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing what Elon has achieved in, in the span of his uh, 47 years and on this planet. Quite an exciting prospect. Pear, appreciate your time. Thank you.
Now let's uh, return to the commemoration.